Hello, it's Joe Glines, and this is going to be a review of how I created a site home variable, which allowed me to store my user properties and various files in one location. Um, I do this for two reasons. One was initially when I would install site, it would overwrite my user, my customized user properties files, which drove me crazy because um, I'd forget to back it up and then have to go readjust everything. Th that doesn't happen so much anymore. But the second one is if you work on multiple computers, uh, it's great to have um, one setting for site, which is always synced across computers and stays the same. So those are the two reasons why I would do that. Now. Um, what you do is you come in here to um, go to control panel to system. What we're going to do is create a environmental variable. So under advanced settings, you get environmental variables. Um, from what I read, it doesn't really matter if it's a system variable versus a user variable. Um, I've created mine up here, but you could do it down here as well. Um, and you'd hit new, and so I'm, I'm going to hit edit because I already have mine, right? But you hit new, and it's going to pop up with the screen. So. This, I believe, I, I did this so long ago I don't recall, but um, I think you need to, I don't think it's case sensitive, but I believe you have to name your variable this, because this is a variable that site will look for automatically. If you probably updated it in site, you could tell it to look for something else, but um, I believe this is what it'll default to. Um, and then what you do is you pick a, draw, uh, a folder on your computer that you want to move it to. So normally, when you install a site for AutoHotKey under AutoHotKey L, there's a site folder, which actually I still have mine. I just didn't mess with it, right? So here's mine. I have this and here and here, but I, it doesn't actually use this because I have created this folder here under, I create a fake B drive, which is my Dropbox drive, um, and under it, so under site install, I have the site custom folder. So let me, you know what, let me just do it this way. I'm going to copy here and then explore, and I'll just open a window. And I'm going to navigate to it. Now under here, so under Site Custom, initially what I also did was I just copied everything that was back, let's see, where is it? Under Auto Hotkey when there was a site folder, I copied everything from here and just moved it, um, well, alright, I didn't move it, I copied it over to here, right? So I pasted it here, and then after you create, let's get back to this part, so you, you, you put in the path to that folder, um, you hit OK. I think you can do this without rebooting. Probably if you just restart site, it'll now take an effect. Um, you might want to reboot just to make sure that it's it's built in there, but I'm pretty sure these are dynamic in the second you hit add, actually maybe even after the second you hit OK here, then it, um, it uses that folder for site because it's there. So I'm going to hit OK, OK. And then the other thing I did was under, let's see, this is my B drive, so this is that folder. So here I created a properties folder, and here I have, let's see how many, I have uh, 71, well, alright, not this one, but uh, 70 user property files that are for different languages, right? So um, I had found these online, um, I think I created one or two, but the these are the various um, IntelliSense files which you can import into Site, um, and that way you can use them for using IntelliSense. Um, it'll show up the color coding for you and syntax highlighting. So that is one thing I did. Um, the other one is if you use plugins and whatnot, you you would then I think put them under in here somewhere, but I'm not say extensions. Yeah, oh nope. Um, but anyway, that's, that's all you have to do to create a site user properties uh, variable. So come back in here, environmental variables, you create it here, and then because that exists, site will default to that into where it looks for it. And actually here, I can, I can show you how this works. It's, it's nice to see this in action. So this is my default auto hotkey script. I'm going to go options and open my user properties file, right? Now, here you can see the path to this. Notice this is the path to the B progs install, right? It, on yours, if you have not created this environmental variable, it will be wherever like you have installed it with AutoHotKey for site for AutoHotKey, right? So that is one easy way to make sure that your actual variable is using the um, the variable you created for the path. Is that these user these user files and I think maybe the global yeah so it defaults all of them and now we'll look there and the other thing you'll have to do is when you do that is um, take into account where these are right and now because it's not under your your um, site for auto I'm sorry auto hotkey 
Um, and here, so I'm going to import, in mine I import the HTML, SQL, Python, and SPSS files, plus these two default ones, which those were already there. But, um, and that, that does part of it, and built into that, so if I open a SQL file, a file that has a .sql, it'll use the IntelliSense for it. But the other thing I recommend doing is adding these to your menu, because here, now regardless of what extension it is, I can come in here and say, you know what, treat this as a Python file, or treat it as a any file, any in properties file, right? Or treat it as an auto hotkey file. So it's nice because sometimes, especially if I create new and I start typing, oh, actually, there for some reason, it, it, I guess it defaults to auto hotkey. But let's say I was trying to work on Python and I hadn't saved it yet, right? And I just wanted to demo it. Um, I can easily switch between them. And that's it. Um, hope that helps. Thanks.